morning guys it's vlogmas day six and for today's video um i have a couple videos to film i have like about two videos to film today and one video is like the update video of my iphone 13 pro max and the other video is me showing you guys how to make the tea the weight loss tea so i'll go ahead and shoot that video for you guys i have to shoot those two videos today because when people purchase the tea from me i want to be able to send them the link of that video so they can see how to make it okay so yeah i have to do those two videos today so far after that i'm planning on doing like a quick vision board but i don't think i'll do that on, on camera i'll do a quick video vision board of what i want in the next six months as you guys know i'm a recent full-time youtuber like I, I i just started being a full-time youtuber so i'm trying to do a vision board so i know what i want in the next few months at least the next six months you know i want to be able to do a vision board for that and yeah i'm honestly scared because i don't know what to expect you guys already know um, I'm used to working a 9 to 5 and doing this on the side. So you guys wish me luck. Please support, support, support because I'm super duper scared. Honestly, like it's scary. But um, I think, you know, with, you know, dedication and consistency, everything should be good. I already see the new subscriber coming in. So I truly appreciate you guys. And yeah, let's go to my kitchen and see, you know, what we're going to do. Uh... The tea, I keep it in here. So I'm gonna take one bag. I'll take one bag, and this is the tea I'll be making. So, <laughs> and yeah, that's what I will make. Should I film first before I make the tea? Which one? Which one? Which one? I don't know. I think I should film first because the tea, I always have time to make it, but filming, I'd rather film right now when I have that energy. So where's my phone that I'll be talking about? Where's my phone? Hmm. Maybe I left it in the kitchen. But yeah, how you guys doing? How you guys enjoying Vlogmas so far? I hope you guys um, are enjoying it. I hope I'm giving you guys quality content and content that you guys actually like. And yeah, let's go to my office upstairs. I don't think you guys have seen it yet. So... I'll show you guys my office. It's a bit of a mess, but not so much of a mess. Close the door. So this is my filming room slash office. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a mess, but you know it's gonna be easy for me to clean it. So I have my ring light here. Whew, bright, bright, bright. Got this right here, and my third light is right. Here here oops i turned it off by accident right here so yeah and i have my shoe rack right there so yeah this is my youtube laptop bag the girl is a full-time youtuber now that's crazy just to even say it is crazy but i'm i'm grateful i'm blessed to you know have the opportunity to even try doing it full-time so yeah, let me go ahead and clean this up. You guys see I made my own DIY uh, reflecting board. So I clean up real quick and I'll come back when it's time to film. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Quartimus Machine. So for today's video, we're going to be doing an update video of my iPhone 13 Pro Max. It has been three months that I got this phone. And um, yeah, let me tell you guys about the phone, what I like, what I don't like, what I've learned. If it's worth the upgrade or not you know the hype is over now so let's really chat about this phone okay all right guys let's get started you guys now I'm done filming that video you guys saw in the last clip right now I'm actually making food for customers and for the house if you guys know though I do catering I also cook for like individual customers like they do pickups at my home they come pick up I make fish suya if you guys didn't know now you guys know so yeah right now I have two orders of fish so I'm, I put it in the so so we can thaw you know and they wanted it with plantain so I got the plantains here and I'm also making ribs for the house so I like to boil my ribs a little bit before I bake it so yeah so that's what I'm making today I'm making food and also if you guys see right here my fridge is moved 
I did not mention the fact that my water and my ice maker was not connected when the delivery guys came here to deliver the fridge because I needed to call a plumber to obviously, you know, connect the cables so the water can go through. So my uncle does plumbing work, so he's actually at Home Depot right now with Husband to buy the stuff to fix it. So yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to have my ice and water running. <laughs> You guys already know so yeah right now i'm about to start cutting the plantains and getting it all together because i'll fry it and i'll make the fish my the pickup is for 5 p.m right now it's 2 28 so yeah um that's it that's it that's it that's it you guys will watch me start cutting the plantains so you guys can see how i do the plantains but i won't be able to film the whole thing obviously because it's going to be super super long and yeah let me place you guys so you guys can watch me cut the plantains Make sure you wash your hands, okay? As you guys can see, my hands are already washed. So make sure you wash your hands before handling foods. Whether you are doing, you're cooking for the home or customers, make sure you always wash your hands. So that's how I cut my plantains. As I told you guys earlier, I'm officially a full-time you know youtube and stuff like that so i'll also put more effort in you know doing orders because i used to only be able to cook for caterings weekends only but now that i'm home i don't mind we doing the week as well so if you're in the dmv area dc maryland virginia catering or you just want me to make food for you or just a dinner I don't know just reach out to me you guys already know emails down below and also my Instagram DMs are open just send me a DM and I got you That's how I cut my plantains. And yeah, pretty easy. And that's what it looks like. So since the pickup for this order is at 5 p.m., I need to make sure I thaw in this sink. So I'll go ahead and block this so the water doesn't go down. And I'll add water in here, then place the fish in there. Because normally I let it thaw on its own overnight. But since the lady just ordered like a couple minutes ago, I have to make it thaw as quickly as possible. So right now I'm just placing the fish in there. So now that my ribs are looking like this, they're not fully cooked, but they're cooked enough for me to just put the seasoning in and bake it. So let's do that. I'll show you guys how I season it. I just added some of this seasoning. It's already pre-made seasoning into like paste that I use. So I just added some in there. I'm adding a bit more because I want it to be flavorful. I put this in there. Let's see. There we go. Instead of salt, I like to use this. Add some paprika. Ginger powder. Most of these seasoning are from back home. So you know the flavor is about to be bomb. Garlic powder. A 
and the secret Indian uh, ingredient <laughs> that you that I use and I also sell is this I normally don't put the name on it because I don't want no one to know what's good when they come in my kitchen I don't want to, I don't want no one to steal my seasoning so it's in here it's it goes with every type of meat that you can cook. And I also have this one. It's for fish. So it's just the top that's different. Meat and fish. Only me. No, <laughs> only me knows what each one are for. Because it's my kitchen. So I know. And I like to take the you know juice from the boiling pot. And add it instead of putting water. Add it. Add it. Add it and now I just mix it together. Once again, make sure your hands are clean, please. Don't want no nasty cooking for anybody, even for yourself. Let's see how much flavor like is in. Just gotta marinate it very well. I love to let it sit for at least 30 minutes to an hour before I start baking it. Let's see that. I'm mixing it with all the seasoning because the seasoning came to the corner. So that's it what I'll do is I'll just let it sit like this in the oven without turning the oven on I'll just let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour before I start grilling but trust me I don't even got to taste it because I know this is bomb <laughs> like yo I know this is bomb like <laughs> So good, so good, so good, so good. So good, so yeah. That's how I season those ribs. And then I'm just waiting for the fish to thaw. The water is helping for real with the fish thawing fast. Now I just remove it from the plastic because it's not super cold anymore. I remove it from the plastic. Like this, these are big fish. So yeah, when it's done thawing, I'll come and show you guys how it looks seasoned and ready to go in the oven. It has been an hour already and I actually changed the foil. I put it in this one instead, the smaller one. So yeah, it's time for me to just, you know, start baking it. As you guys can see, I'm now seasoning the fish. I technically seasoned it the same way I seasoned um, the ribs, but the only difference is um, I used the different powder. Remember the powder I showed you guys that I sell for meat and fish? Yeah, I just used the one for fish, obviously. So, yeah. And I'll put it in here. And leave it for about 30 minutes as well. Normally, I like it to be in for at least an hour. I already did the other side, by the way. Normally, I like to leave it for at least an hour. But because the customer is picking it up in about an hour and a half, I have to make sure I only leave it for 30 minutes. So, yeah. If you realize, after every couple of minutes, I always work and wash my hands, work and wash my hands, because I like my hands to be clean when I'm cooking. So, what I do is, I'll just put this on the table right here. Cover it up as you guys can see me. Okay. 
That's all right. Just like that, and I will leave it for 30 minutes. Then it's time to bake. So while I'll be baking the fish, I'll be frying the plantains in the deep fry. Let me see how the ribs are looking. They should be good now. Ooh. Yes. It looks so good. I don't like my ribs to be dry. So this is what it's looking like. Let me see if I can grab something to you guys see it's not dry at all like there we go pretty juicy you guys see yep it's not dry you can see like when i press on it oh sorry when i press on it you can see the juice well that's how i like my ribs i don't like it dry so this is perfect and let me see some. There we go. And very tender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tender. So good. This is mine already. Mm -hmm. So good. I got chills. Mm Mm. It's your orders. Mm. Mm. Won't be disappointed. Oh my god, it's so good. But it's hot. Mmm. Mm. I'm gonna stop eating here because I gotta tear this bone up. Right here. Tender. So tender. Because I like my, my ribs. I don't like it dry. Mm -mm. You don't do a job right here. Mm -mm. I have the oil is in there. Lighting here is not the best, but um, yeah, it's time for me to do this for the customer. And I want to add more plantains for the house, so bake and have it with the ribs. For the yeah. right, you guys, the order is ready for pickup. I just got to cover with aluminum foil, so let me show you guys how I do that. Ready? Do the same thing. Ready for pickup. All good, all good, all good. All right, you guys, so now that the orders are ready, I'll leave them right here. So when the customer comes, I just take, give it to them. I'll go ahead and reach out to the customer, let them know it's ready. Just in case, you know, they want to come a bit earlier, they can as well. So, yeah. And, yeah, guys, so 
that is it for today's vlog guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know if you want to see more videos like this where i actually do my side hustles on camera with you guys because i know most of you guys do not know that i do catering i know most of you guys do not know that i sell tea so here it is guys now you guys know so you guys know what to do if you're in the dmv area place your order or if you're all around the world and would like to lose weight or something to suppress your appetite place your order the first link down below will be the link for my tea and yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you are new to the channel welcome if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button down below it helps me a lot also if you're a returning subscriber you already know it is all love thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for all the love and support i truly truly appreciate it and i'll catch you guys on tomorrow's vlog okay bye guys